Well, what's going on everybody and welcome back to tourney season today we're in new york at the beautiful st lawrence river if you missed any of the previous new york episodes i think i filmed two or three new york episodes they will be linked up here in this corner it has been a super cool series so far several pbs broken on the small mouth side and i'm just super excited to get practice started now if you're unfamiliar with the channel my name is tyler anderson i am a i guess you could say past college fisherman at Texas A&M University. I graduated in May, but I have a few more tournaments left in my eligibility for college fishing. And so I'm up here, the St. Lawrence River in Waddington, New York, about as far north in the United States as you can go. And uh, just super excited to get practice started. So my partner Garrison is not with me today. He's actually flying in from his internship. And so he'll be here tonight. You guys will see him later on in the vlog. But today is gonna be kind of me trying to figure out this river for the first time ever being on it. I guess yesterday I was on it, but it was way far south that way. But it will definitely not be the first time I practiced by myself. <laughs> Garrison has uh, left me on my own sometimes. I'm just kidding, he's a great partner. But yeah, with that said, not a whole lot else to talk about. We'll see you guys on the water. It's definitely not ideal to fish by yourself. But I make it work. And we begin our day. This water is clear. Don't know if it's as clear as Thousand Islands in last episode, but it might be. And what we're doing right now is we are looking for beds. It is spawn time here for the smallmouth, so we are looking around for some bedded bass. This island here, the back side of it, has tons of stumps. I was expecting it to have boulders, but it has stumps. So we're going to see if they bed on the back side of these stumps at all. I'm going to try out all sorts of different things today. I'm going to try out looking for beds. I'm going to fish you know, shallow shoals. I'm going to fish deep stuff. I'm going to go all over the place. So we're going to have a wide array of things for you all to learn today. Now when looking for smallmouth on beds, I think there's several different scenarios, but on a river especially, you're going to want to look for places that are just out of the current that have some sort of bottom they can spawn on. So whether it's, you know, a back of stumps or boulders or whatever this kind of area is, smallmouth love to spawn around things. They don't like to spawn in the middle of nowhere. And I really, I guess largemouth don't really like to spawn in the middle of nowhere either. So that's a good distinction. And so because we have such huge expansive flats here, I'm basically just looking for the boulders and things on the bottom that fish could uh, spawn up next to. And I found a bed over there and a few beds around here, but nothing much major yet. Today is really all about finding like what area of the river these fish spawn on. So back at Thousand Islands, it was on the islands themselves. But out here, I'm not sure. Oh, there's definitely a bed. Is it empty? Yes, no fish on it. So yeah, that's the weird thing I'm finding right now is that some of these beds are empty, which I guess some of the bass already spawned. I wouldn't think they'd be done already though. Oh, zinger! Where does bed go? Where the heck did that fish go? And these fish are weird. He is not interested. Gosh. That's a four pounder. Holy smokes. Huh. It's a big old buffalo carpe. All right, this is my last cast here. We have a ship coming through and he's about to push a massive wake my direction, so. I'd prefer to not get crushed against the shore. Would not be ideal. Whoa. Good grief. How many birds can live in there? Wow. All right, what's up guys? Don't, oh, don't poop on me, please. No. Oh, there's poop everywhere. Oh, poop is falling everywhere. Please no. Please no. Oh, yuck. I'm not leaving. Y'all can fly all you want, but don't poop on me. Did they poop on me already? No. Wow. All right, all right, chill. Birds, I'll leave. Attack of the crazy birds. Let me get a thumbnail of this. Go back to your nests. I'm not doing nothing. How do you catch these bass? Well, I really wish that I could bring you guys a fish catch right now, but these fish are being really weird. I can't figure out any sort of offshore deal. And to be honest, they shouldn't be out there. And I see like that's a, that's a four and a half pounder right there, just cruising. And he was, they, they follow my hair jig, but I cannot get them to eat it. And whenever you cast in front of them, they sure as heck don't eat it. You have to like make a really far cast and hope that they cruise on in and follow it. So. It's just kind of being frustrating right now. Not quite sure what to do. The hair jig is the only lure that I can actually get, you know, follows on right now. So 
I think these fish are just cruising before they bet. These are like about as pre-spawn as you can get. And for some reason, I can't figure out how to make them bite. They definitely don't bite as soon as they see your boat, that's for sure. They see your boat and they are uh, gone. There's a fish. All right, how big is she? Oh, is she big? Oh, she's big, crap. Ah, dang it. Well, I had to set the hook on one bed fish just to, just to see how big they were. And this one is uh, not small, that's for sure. Oh, hey, <laughs> thanks for jumping for me. Any other competitors around? No, no competitors. So I'm going to land this fish ASAP. I'm not playing around, homie. I know you're big. I know you're big. I know you're big. But I ain't playing around. Nope, don't do that. Don't do that. Bring your body in here. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Hey, yo. Hey, you. There we go. That's a high three, almost a four, I'd say. On the hair jig. I'm gonna weigh in just so I know. Actually, I can feel that's almost a four. Alrighty, buddy. Go back to your bed, please. I'm gonna mark this fish on the angler app right here. Uh, Badoop. And I'm also gonna make a waypoint on my graph since I have it up. And I'm gonna put four because I know this fish is four pounds. Heyo, just had to catch one, you know. Also, he looked about two pounds on his bed. So now we know, now we know when they look two pounds, they're probably three or four because they're like a dang meatloaf. So I figured out where they're bedding at, but I bet you everybody else is as well. I don't think this bed fishing thing is gonna be a secret whatsoever. So I've got to hope to find some areas that possibly other guys are gonna overlook, or I don't know. Just gotta find some sneaky sneak areas, you know what I mean? Always all about the sneaky sneak. All right, off we go. Oh my gosh, dang cruiser. A dang cruiser. You sure he's a dang cruiser? I'm gonna dang cruise around and see if he's on a dang bed. Oh gosh, oh gosh gracious me. Holy smokes, folks. He ate the hair jig. He ate it, all right. Any competitors around here? Oh gosh, there's somebody over there. All right, well you can sight fish them even if they're not on beds. That is good to know. That is good to know. That is really good to know. This is huge. These fish, y'all, they look like stinking two and a half pounders in the water and this fish is gonna go like almost five. Holy cow, holy cow. Wow. That's a four something. Oh, look at that, this one's blind. Yeah, that's a low four. Alrighty, thanks for playing, pal. Okay, good to know. So the cruisers will hit a hair jig, yes. You just gotta way back off them. And that one was different because a lot of the cruisers I was seeing earlier today um, were, were not quite stay in the same area. So this one, it's potentially, so this one may have been on a bed, but I just, it's a bed somewhere in this area. But I cast the hair jig in front of him and he uh, came forward and ate it, so heck yeah. All right, update, my trolling motor is uh, dying. I've been on 10, literally. I've been keeping it 100 all day and uh, it cannot take it no more. I've trolled till I can't no more. So we are gonna look for a few more beds and then kind of go try some offshore pre spawny type stuff. And we'll let you know what happens. Eat it, eat it buddy, eat it. I usually wouldn't waste time fishing for a bed fish like this, but he's small and I didn't drive 32 hours to New York to not catch some fish, so. We're gonna catch a few, because we can. There he is, got him. <laughs> Took me a few minutes. Finally got him to eat though. Beautiful fish, gorgeous little guy. 
He's got black fins. That's cool. Whee! Thank you, sir, for playing around. Eating the hair jig. The Seth Fighter hair jig. Gotcha! Well, two pounder. It's crazy how this fish weighs two pounds and it's like not even 14 inches. All right. Enough wasted time. Let's go find us a dang meathead. six <laughs> i'm gonna give up on this for now i'm gonna try one more spot before we pick garrison up with the kai tech i'm just gonna stick with that maybe the drop shot i'm not sure yet and uh i'm gonna see if we can maybe figure out a way to catch a fish that's not up shallow i got a drop shot we got a nice current break here is there even any current here where's the current going what the heck I get turned around. I feel like the current's going the opposite way. No, no, the home is that way. The current's going this way, okay. Oh, it is peaceful out here. It just hit me like how gorgeous this place is. I was just like zoning out as I was working my Kitek and it's like beautiful. Oh man, this is cool. No matter how we finish in this tournament, I will uh, have had a blast and See some beautiful, beautiful scenery. Gotta love getting the truck by yourself. First you gotta drain the lower unit, and then you put the stick on. Well, that was a day for sure. I'm not necessarily sure if that was a good day or a bad day. Um, of course, don't wanna talk too loud, got other boats around me, but um, I didn't really catch that many fish. So you guys, as you guys saw in this video, I, uh, I didn't catch that many. And I mean, the reasoning behind that is because I was looking for beds most of the day. I mean, I think like 85% of the day I, I was looking for beds. And in this scenario, I mean, I could have had 20 pounds today, but that's not the, that's not the point. The point is to find these beds for tournament day. Uh, but in talking to some other college anglers that I you know, know and, and, and trust, uh, they caught a lot more fish than I did today on non-bed fishing techniques. And so we're gonna see if tomorrow we can kind of expand and see if we can catch some fish uh, not on beds. It's the time of the year when they should be eating a swim bait, a uh, you know spy bait, a jerk bait, and just can't get it to work. So we are gonna give it our all tomorrow and we'll see y'all at the airport. Arrived. Thank you so much. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> Look who it is. What's up folks? Ready to catch some beans. Yes. Stand around here, I got like a lot of trash. <laughs> Let's go meet the people. How's my hair look? Garrison's here. He looked great. They're on beds. They're on beds? They're on beds. <laughs> is this a new Skeeter? Yeah, this is the FX20, 2022, 2022 FX20 right here. I got the, uh, the roll down ladder and everything. <laughs> Boys, girls, and everything in between. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's none of that around here. Done. Unsubscribe. Day one of practice. Done. Donzo. Gonzo. And uh, Gonzo. we're going to kind of describe real quick how I caught the fish that I did. 
Now, as you guys saw, I did not catch many fish today, purely for the fact that I wasn't really supposed to catch them. On, on beds, you don't want to catch the fish because odds are they're not going to bite again. I've heard, though, the smallmouth do end up biting again, and so we might catch a few of our bedfish tomorrow just to see if we can break a PB or something. But um, I did find a few bedfish, kind of, I'd say 10 or 12 up shallow around boulders, which is the majority of times where you're going to find a smallmouth bass is on a boulder or on a, a, a or, you know, and that's the majority <laughs> and that's the majority of the places that you're going to find a smallmouth is around some kind of piece of cover and so of course tomorrow if we get any sort of sun and slick water Garrison and I are going to look for some beds but I think tomorrow is going to be spent mostly I wouldn't say mostly catching fish but mostly finding areas with the kai tech the spy bait the jerk bait that we can catch fish you know when the weather is not um, good for bed fishing and so Garrison is excited he, he caught a smallmouth like last week but a Texas smallmouth, he's never caught a New York smallmouth. Not that I'm one to speak on crazy experience, but it is a, it is fun, it's a blast. Now the setup that I caught all of my bedfish on today, which is actually my little like, you know, covering water setup is, like I talked about in my last video, my hair jig and my hair jig rod. This is the Outcast Tackle Seth Fighter Jig. This jig is an eighth ounce. I think they make heavier than eighth, they might make no, I think 8th is the heaviest they make because most people don't fish heavier ones. I do wish, though, that he made a heavier one. Or I wish that I had looked online. I don't know. But uh, this jig will be linked below. This is the brown color. And the reason why I throw brown instead of black today is because there's a mayfly hatch. And so it just makes sense to throw a brown hair jig because there's little brown bugs laying around the water. Then the rod and reel combo that I'm throwing this on is the Lou's Custom Inshore Spinning Reel. The 7.6 uh, Team Custom Pro. Nope. Yes, it is the team. I got it right that time. The Team Custom Pro 7.6 medium spinning rod. Can't say enough about this, it's incredible. And some 15 pound Seaguar Smackdown to 8 pound Seaguar Tatsu leader. So all of that stuff will be linked below. You guys are gonna see a heck of a lot of this combo and a heck of a lot of the other spinning rods that I have laying down there. But with that said, subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Smash the like button so hard that your finger loses all feeling. I just want to smash it so hard. And with that, we'll see you guys on the next episode of Tourney Season for day two of practice. Garrison, you want to smash the kid, don't smash it hard, but just like put your hand to the three, two, one. <laughs> Smashed. <laughs>